that one enemy, but that could be a common trend uh, throughout several maps in episode 7. 100% uh, kills could be difficult to get only because of how the some of the rooms are structured and where some of the enemies could wander to. You could easily miss an enemy as some of these just loop around. But um, yeah, floor 2, it's very similar to floor 1. With a structure of an outer perimeter working towards the middle of uh, the map. But um, this map can be a little tough to get 100% kills. Due to, of course, as I said before, that maze in the opening room. Which, that color wall is more meant to emphasize uh, the, the, the caves aspect of the, these floors. Um, I mean, I don't think that that, that map, that maze is super confusing compared to, like, episode 6 or 7, but at first it can be a little overwhelming, as several of the, um, maps, mazes could be at first when doing it. But they're not super difficult, I would say. Um, that outer perimeter, though, around, like, the, the exit, though, can be a little bit tricky in terms of like missing enemies because some of the enemies of course can wander into that center room and set off some of the enemies also to be careful of the the the, the barrels of, uh, surrounding the secret exit that one usually has a shoe stopple in the hallways and or it can wander out there like when you sh you first enter that area so if when you're wanting that outside parameter, be alert that you could see that shoe stoffel. If not, he can mow you down very, very easily. I do not though like the idea though of how they have the secret exit kind of like exposed. Like you know it's there. I mean, yes, I've been a little bit well, I wouldn't say completely, because you know, from the outside it looks like you have to, you know, get to it. But going to the middle, but you know, you're obviously tricked a little bit. But it's still, it's still not something I'm the biggest fan of having it exposed. You would want it to maybe like a little bit more hidden. I mean, I've been guilty of doing that in some of my custom maps, but you know, still not too difficult. But like I said, that maze part can be a little overwhelming at first, but it's not super difficult. But just once again, enemies can wander down different hallways and go different routes and could easily, you know, be missed for 100% or again, could mow you down from behind. 
But that, guys, is floor 2. We will now move on to floor 10 in the next video. And these last three episodes, I believe the secret floors are on even, are on even number floors. Compared to odd number floors on the first six. But that is floor 2, guys. Now to floor 10. I am the Club of the Man, 1993, and I'll catch you all then. Peace out, everybody.